3D printing started in the late 1980s and were known as rapid prototype machines. Years later, who knew you could pick up a 3D printer at Audi where I picked up my printer from? Though these days, anyone can use a 3D printer and can print a variety of useful items. Your local library might even have one. Hi, my name is Richie and this week on Creative Tech Fridays, if you haven't guessed it, we're going to be looking at 3D printing. Now, 3D printing has come a long way and more than affordable enough to have in your home. 3D printing is still sort of a complex process, but you know, you can pick it up easily and I would still recommend though, doing your research before buying one that suits your needs. Before we jump into printing something, there's a great community out there where people share their own objects, which you can download and print freely. Even going as far as printing medical visors for the hospitals during the COVID-19 outbreak. It's pretty cool how everyone comes together. So let's find something interesting and print it. As mentioned, it's easy as just searching for an item, downloading it, importing it to your 3D printing software, then tweaking the settings if you need to, and most software will resize it to fit your printer because you know some things can be pretty big or really small. And print. There's something for everyone in 3D printing. Now if you're a hobbyist, you can print replacement parts, or even if you need to mount your Google Home like me, you can print that as well. Now if you can't find something, you can also design it from scratch, which is pretty cool, and that's where you can really tinker like this vacuum adapter that I printed because I wanted to use my old Dyson attachment with that new cordless vacuum and I didn't have something that worked together. So jumping into Tinkercad here, great piece of software. I recommend checking it out. It's free to use and join. Uh, it's a great basic software, really user friendly that allows you to add shapes, text, numbers, all these different things uh, and allows you to cut and chop and design and import existing objects as well. So you can sort of blend multiple objects. There's there are different and more sophisticated softwares out there but I found this software really easy to use it's great for beginners uh, I recommend checking it out even just downloading if you don't have a 3d printer yet and then just messing around with it see what you can do see what you can put together um, but you can sort of see here here's the vacuum adapter that I um, that I made to fit my uh, vacuum and then we've got this adapter here that I also downloaded um, that I wanted to make sure that everything would fit uh, fit in there so if I just line that up if I can get it <laughs> um, you can sort of see that how that would work in there as well so that's if I was to print that that's how it would work obviously that's a separate object for mounting bracket but this is what we're looking at here and it's really interesting just to see it come from you know I guess software to physically in your hands which is really cool 3D printing isn't just for big companies now. There are more people like you and me using it to print practical things, but also having a bit of fun with it as well. A small printer like this is great to have in the home or garage. Now, if you find yourself printing a lot more things, though you might want to upgrade to a larger printer so you can print larger objects or even get two printers like my friend Billsy here. The reason I've got two printers is because the hobby became a excited, passionate hobby for me. Um, I clicked a lot of weird things, but so like most people, I bought a 3D printer and you know, it dipped into the whole, you know, let's make some cool stuff, let's find it on the web, let's print that out, just random cool things. And it got to the point where I was printing out and found that much cool stuff that I didn't want to wait the two, three, four hours for it to print, to print the next one. Um, and then when it, the opportunity came up to buy a second printer for a very good price, there was a stage where I'm printing one, printing two, printing one, printing two, just because I wanted to keep pumping it out. Now I've got uh, my, I guess, my favorite printer, which is the Cocoon one here in an enclosure in the garage. Um, I've had the second printer now for a few years. The second one is packed away. Um, I print enough now just to have the one and keep the one, you know, perfected, um, leveled and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I went out and got two printers just because, you know, I fell in love with the hobby that much. And there's nothing wrong with the second printer. I just don't print enough um, to, to have both running at the same time anymore, but it kind of goes in waves. So I'm sure that's gonna get pulled out of the cupboard not too far away and uh, I'll be printing nonstop again, so. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Creative Tech Fridays. It's been great hanging out with you and I hope to see you next time. See ya.